How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you about Fubo TV. They just announced their fourth quarter earnings, and they had a little bit of a sell-off here. So I want to talk about it, talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, all that, whether it makes sense to invest now, what I'm doing with my shares, and what I think about this. It is a mixed bag, and I'll go through you know the pros and cons to Fubo TV, talk to you a little bit about it. I've talked about it before, but it is an interesting company that has had a lot of hype behind it. Because if you remember, this company was a SPAC. It's gone from a $10 company to a $60 company, $62, and now back down to about $42. So it's definitely one that you should be paying attention to. Now, if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, but Fubo had some interesting results, which I really wanted to cover. Also, there is a link down there to Weeble in case you want to buy uh, so def some different stocks pre-market or post-market you can use that app definitely check it out if you're interested you can also get a bonus just deposit hundred dollars and you can get up to eighteen hundred and fifty dollars depending on how uh, how expensive the stock is that you get also there's a link down there to BlockFi in case you're interested in investing in cryptocurrency i actually just wired another seventy five thousand dollars over there to put in stablecoin, it pays up to 8.6%. And there's uh, a link down there if you're interested in that. You can get up to a $250 bonus. Also, a link down there to my Patreon in case you want to see exactly when I buy and sell different stocks. So, Fubo is an interesting one. It fell down 7% after the market closed, it was up 8% about today. Their fourth quarter earnings were pretty impressive from the side of the revenue. So if you look at the third quarter revenue, they had about $61 million in revenue. They had about, I believe, yeah, right here, 455,000 subscribers, paid subscribers. Now, if you don't know what Fubo does, they're a streaming service that really focuses on sports streaming. So they bring in a really high amount of revenue for the packages that they provide because they charge a good amount. Their their average client watches a, a significant amount of hours. I believe it was 120 hours a month is their average client. So they have a lot of people interested in this service and they're able to charge a good amount. They just reported, again, remember they had 61.2 million in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, they had revenue of over 105 million. And now they have 548,000 subscribers. They had about 93,000 just in the fourth quarter, which is a huge increase year over year, about 237%. However, their net losses are going up significantly. It, it was a big miss on earnings. The revenue they beat, but earnings they missed. Also, they are expecting to actually lose subscribers in the first quarter of 2021. And they project about 520 to 530,000 subscribers by the end of March. Now, this is a decline of 3 to 5%. Uh, you know, this isn't what you want to see. But this is something that, you know, the sports in general are kind of seasonal. So I understand that, that they might have a little bit less um, over the next quarter. They expect to increase revenue up to about 460 to 470 million for 2021 and anticipate about 760 to 770 subscribers, thousand subscribers. The, the thing that they are focusing on is generating higher ad revenue per subscriber going forward by better ad targeting and also introducing sports betting to their platform. Now this is really important, really, really important. So right now the company doesn't really make sense because how they're uh, accounting for adjusted contribution margin, uh, they exclude costs like sales and marketing, broadcast and transmission and technology and development, meaning that on an operating basis, even excluding one-time charges, Fubo's subscription television business runs at an operating loss. So as it goes on, they're they're not going to become profitable unless they change something. So that's where I think the sports betting side of their business is what's going to make them money. So they they actually acquired a sports betting company last year. They are expecting to be able to integrate this with some free-to-play games in the third quarter of 2021 and then set a Q4 launch for Fubo Sportsbook. So this is where I'm really interested in the company, right? When they when they're able to bring this platform to their already established streaming platform, when they're able to start sports betting, 
These are hardcore fans that are spending hours and hours on this every night. If they are able to convert some of them into a highly profitable sports betting business, I think that would make a lot of sense. You're already on the app. You don't have to pull out your phone and do anything else and like log into different apps. You're already streaming. You could probably have betting right on the side of the screen and see how much money you're making, how much money you're losing, have it all integrated. It's already tied to your card. I think it makes a lot of sense to be able to piggyback this on. And I realize right now how their business is set up might not make a lot of sense for scalability and it might not actually make money where it is now but they are looking to be able to tie the sports bank to it they're a company that's trying to make money so they're going to try to find a way to do that and that's why they acquired the sports betting company so it is high risk high reward in that way right it's not a super profitable business as of now but once they are starting to add that side of their business, I think it could be profitable. I mean, obviously, people think it will do well because the company has been going up dramatically since last October, and we've had all this data all along. Now, one other thing you have to take into account is the fact that there was a short report on Fubo. There are firms that are apparently trying to sue them. You can see here, uh, anyone between March 23 and January 4 that bought shares, apparently they're encouraging them with if they have large losses to secure counsel. So if you look though, anyone that was before really December, uh, between December and the end of December, mid to late December, has pretty much made money on this. So I don't, I don't think this is going anywhere. I think this is an ambulance chaser type scenario. We've seen it in the stock market all the time with any new spec that's announced. Uh, whenever there's a short report and people try to make money by pushing the stock price down, there are people that are pissed off and want to sue the company and stuff like that. And you can kind of do research on your own. I'm still holding my shares in this. I don't think it's that big a deal. I think there are a lot of companies that have stuff like this that come out against them. Maybe they're easy targets and people want to make money off the share price going down. So that's kind of my opinion on it. But definitely do your own research on it too. I am not personally buying more at this at this time, but if you're looking to get in over the long term, if you're wanting to get into sports betting, but also streaming in a little bit of a different play here, I think it would make sense. Now, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a stock analyst. This is a higher risk, high reward play, and it's still up at $40. So I might see if it falls down a little bit. You know, I think we have seen lows that we haven't seen here really in a month. I mean, it fell down to 34, 35. Uh, but we haven't really seen lows this low in a little while. So definitely check this company out. I think it's one that you should definitely put on your radar, if nothing else, and do some research on it because I think it is an interesting one. Now, Sensionix also has their earnings here in a couple days, and I'm going to cover that one too. Let me know your thoughts on Fubo and on Sensionix. What are you looking for from Sensionix? What are you hoping to see from their earnings report? Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to check out the link here on the end screen to the other company that I actually covered today and one that I bought for the first time, you can check it out. It's a really interesting autonomous driving play. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.